Hi. Um, first off, just a, the, the usual sort of question. FA Cup final at Wembley against Arsenal. How excited? How are you feeling? Uh, yeah, it doesn't really get better than that uh, when you explain it like that. Uh, we're very extremely excited. I can feel it uh, amongst the girls just coming back now today from international break that the girls are really excited. I'm really excited. It's going to be a great game. Expecting a big crowd as well. It's just, yeah, uh, we're really, really excited. Obviously, Arsenal have been magnificent in the league this season and we all know what happened on the first day of the season. So... How difficult a task is it going to be to beat them and what kind of challenge are you expecting? Yeah, it's going to be a difficult task. We're well, well aware of that. They've, they're in great form. I think since that game we've been in great form as well. So I think it's two teams that are really, really up there, really top, top form. So it's going to be anyone's to grab really. I think it's going to be a 50-50. It's going to be about us being ready for that game, for that day and show that we've learned as well from the previous uh, encounter at Emirates and finally from me obviously that you, you you've beaten Arsenal in an FA Cup final at Wembley before is that is that on your mind at all or is that just a nice memory and you put it to the side going into this game yeah I, I view it as a nice memory it was a very long time ago and both our teams have, have gone through a lot of changes since then uh, but obviously having the experience of playing in finals are are big and it's really important uh, but you, you have to utilize it you have to capitalize it on the day thanks Mike. nice to see you thank you thank you shall we go over to talk sport thank you so much hi Magda um thanks so much for speaking to us today first things first when you walk out on the pitch this weekend uh, against Arsenal at Wembley what's going to be going through your mind what, what will the emotion be like I think uh, <clears throat> when I'm walking out, it's going to be all about the game, all about uh, starting right, getting the tactic, tactical uh, things right, um, just starting the game the way we want it to. I think hopefully after the game, I can enjoy the enjoy it more and, uh, and, and, and enjoy a win, hopefully. But before the game, it's all going to be about focusing on the game itself uh, and getting everything right. And as a player, just what is it like to, to play at Wembley? It's an amazing stadium, amazing experience, uh, especially when you have fans there as well. I've played there previously with, with fans and without fans, and it's not the same without the fans. The fans makes the difference, uh, and yeah, I can't wait to play there on Sunday in front of uh, a big crowd. Obviously, we know there's a, a lot more to this Arsenal side than Vivian Miedemar, but as a defender, how do you go about trying to mark her and try to limit the sort of the touches and what, what she can do in this game? Yeah, Miedema is an exceptional striker. Uh, she's a great number nine with a lot of qualities um, to her and she's really difficult to, to stop. I think she's proven that throughout her years in the WSL. She's been scoring a lot of goals. Um, so it's going to have to be a team effort. We're going to have to do it as a team like we do with everything else really. Stopping everything as a team, as a collective. Uh, and then obviously, like you say, they have other players as well that we really need to look after. It's, it's just not just one player. And lastly for me, obviously, you know, side of ours from, from Sweden as well. So before he came to Arsenal, did you know much about him? And, you know, how impressed have you been for the job he's done so far? Yeah, Jonas has done a great job with Arsenal there. Uh, they've proven uh, they're in great form. They've had some good additions to their squad as well. So I think they're a really strong team. Uh, I knew uh, of Jonas uh, from his term in Sweden. I never had him as a coach myself, but I've heard from my teammates in Sweden. And I know he's he's a tactically very good coach. That's great. Thank you so much for your time and best of luck this weekend. Thank you. Thank you very much. So that's the end of the broadcast section.